Tom Brady has gotten off to a good start with the books. Now, he's played for 20 years, and there's so many things that we can learn from him. But in this video, we are going to look at their most recent game against the Green Bay Packers in which they won 38 to 10. And we are going to find three lessons that we can learn from his performance. Right off the bat, the Bucks totally dismantled the Packers. And this was a game that Green Bay was expected to win. Now you might notice that even though the Bucks won 38 to 10, Tom actually had a pretty modest stat line, which isn't that great, but at the end of the day, they still won the game and he didn't make any big mistakes. Whereas on the other side of the ball, Aaron Rodgers had a really, really off day and his stats were far worse than Tom Brady's. Which brings us to our first lesson. Sometimes you don't have to play amazing. You just have to play better than the other team's quarterback. Now, two weeks ago, everyone saw Brady yelling and screaming at his offensive line and the rest of his team. And this was because they committed a huge amount of mistakes and penalties, which led to them losing a game that they probably should have won. Now, if you fast forward to this recent Packers game, the Bucks had an incredible zero sacks, zero turnovers, and zero penalties. Which brings us to our second lesson, which is just as important as making big plays is playing clean, mistake-free football. Now, we can reinforce this lesson by taking a look at the Buccaneers' former quarterback, number one overall pick, Jameis Winston. Now, Jameis has a ton of talent. Obviously, we wish him well. And last year, he actually led the league in passing yards and had 33 touchdowns, made a ton of big plays, a ton of big throws. Now, the issue was he also made a ton of mistakes. Now, I want you to think, for all the big plays you make, all the mistakes you make, cancel them out great if you ate five apples today but if you also ate five bags of doritos that cancels it out you had a good intention but you're not any closer to being healthier it's the same thing with a quarterback make good plays limit the mistakes as we move toward the final lesson in our video let's take another look at the bucks playing the bears two weeks ago now brady missed the throw on fourth down at the end of the game and kind of famously forgot what down it was. It was pretty funny and the internet obviously jumped all over him about it, including one of the Packers running backs who was quoted in saying, I'm pretty sure my quarterback knows what down it is. And Aaron Rodgers would never do something like that, never. Now those are some pretty sharp words and probably not the best idea to trash talk Brady. I mean, we've seen it historically. But the interesting thing is, what did Brady say in response? He didn't say anything. Which brings us to our last lesson. Don't respond to critics. Now we all know that football is a game of ego and testosterone, but it is also a game that will humble you if you get too far ahead of yourself. Taking the play clock down to about one. Here's one broken up, another pick. Tom Brady has been quoted in saying that he doesn't respond to critics because once you engage, you have to keep re-engaging with them. And that wastes your energy and it gives your power away to the other person, which takes your attention away from the one thing you do have control over, and that's how well you play. And at the end of the day, it's the person that plays better that wins.